Hello, good day. In this tutorial video, you will learn about Z-scores. Z-scores is also sometimes called the standard scores. So this tutorial video is just a part one of our lesson here on Z-scores. You will learn more about Z-scores on our next discussion. So ang Z-score po natin represents kung ilang number of standard deviations ang nasa data value ang magpo-fall above or below the mean. So it is used as a way to measure relative position. Now here is the formula for Z-score. So this symbol is our score. And this is our sample mean, and this is the standard deviation of the sample. So just take or remember this formula. Score minus the sample mean divided by the sample standard deviation. Now, pwede bang maging negative ang z-score? Probably, yes. A positive z-score meaning that the score is above the mean. Positive. Kapag ka negative naman, it's below the mean. Paano kapag ka zero? Then, the score is exactly the same as our mean. Now, let's have this example. A student scored a 65 on a math test that had a mean of 50 and standard deviation of 10. And then, in his history, he got, she got 30 with a mean of 25 and standard deviation of 5. Compare her, her relative position on the two tests. So let's identify first. This is our formula for the Z-score. At ang gagawin muna natin is to compare the Z-score in math and of course in history. Now doon sa math natin, the score, her score is 65. Tapos yung mean natin is 50. And then the standard deviation is 10. So probably, we have 65 plus 50 divided by 10. By 15 divided by 10, that's 1.5. So the z-score in mathematics is 1.5. Now let's have in history. Sa history naman, the x is 30, the mean is 25, and the standard deviation is 5. So, we have 30 less 25, that's 5. Divided by 5, we have 1. Now, compare the z-scores the in math and history. Since math has um, greater or bigger z-score, then probably she did better in math than in history. Why? Because the z-score in math is higher than the history. That's how we're going to compare um, the z-scores okay, kung habang tumataas as the z-scores get higher okay, the better the performance example number 2 find the z-score for each test and state which test is better okay so again, we have the sample mean standard division the score so let's just use the formula we have 38 less 40 to 38 less the 40, the mean, divided by 5. So probably we have negative 0 0.4. That's negative 2 divided by 5. We have negative 0 0.4. Now, in test B naman, we have 94 less 100 divided by 10. Take note yung mga ginagamit ninyong values. Ah. So dapat tugma doon sa formula natin, which is x minus the mean. So we have 94 less 100, that's negative 6, divided by 10, will give us negative 0 0.6. Now take note, if we're going to compare two negative numbers, habang um, yung negative na mas mababa, yun yung mas uh, greater value. Okay? Since negative 4 is higher than negative, uh, negative 0 0.4 rather, is greater than or higher than negative 0.6, and probably test A is better. Okay? And it has a high relative position. Now let's have this example. Ano naman kapag ka 
a given na yung mga yung mean, standard deviation and the x. So you'll just have to use this formula the z score. Yung gagawin niyo lang naman is to substitute. So we have in the first item we have 100 less the mean which is 97 divided by 9.23. So by just uh, computing 100 less 97 that's 3 divided by 9.23. So just divide this then you'll have probably negative 0 0.33. So you'll just you'll just have to put it in the z-score. Next in number 2. So again just the same process. We have our x is 38 minus the mean which is 46 and standard deviation of 8. So 38 less 46 that's negative 8. Okay and divided by 8 negative by divided by positive will get will have negative so 8 divided by 8 is 1 so we have negative 1 so the z-score in item number 2 is we have negative 1 okay so the rest gawin nyo na yan and then naman sa module nyo how about if we have this kind of problem estimate the raw score that corresponds to the z-score indicated so given yung z-score hanapin naman natin yung score so, we'll just use the same formula. So, it's just a matter of algebraic process. So, gagawin natin, identify Z, which is negative 0.62. Ang X natin is unknown, leave it X. Minus the mean is 28 and the standard deviation is 5.2. The next step is to multiply yung Z, the negative 1.62 times 5.2. That will give us negative 8.424 equals kung ano yung natira dun sa taas, just write it up. The next is to transpose negative 28 to the other side. Pag nag-transpose na tayo, magiging positive na yung 28. So that, that becomes negative 8.424 plus 28 equals x. Then just add the two. We have negative the positive probably magso-subtract yan. So we have 19.576. So our x here is 19.576. Now let's proceed to the second item. So just the same ano. So we have disease score which is 2.58. The standard deviation 2.35. Our mean is 69. Then, 2.58 times 2.35 will have 6.063 equals, just copy this. Transpose negative 69, it will give us plus 69. Then, you just have to add these two numbers. That will give us 75.063 equals x. So, yung ano natin dito, in second item, will have 75.063. So, that's all about for disease score, the, the part 1. The part 2 will be given to you on the next tutorial video. So, good luck and God bless everyone.